All right, here are solutions for perfect problem one for Math 112. Uh, so this is a paper folding example. It's a pretty common example when you're talking about exponential growth. The basic idea is that we have a piece of paper that's 0.1 millimeters thick, and you fold it in half. So now it's twice as thick. Then you fold it in half again. It's twice as thick as it was, and again and again and again. Um, and so we can model the thickness of the paper using an exponential function. Specifically, we would say that f of x equals... And then an exponential function is of the form a times b to the x, with a being the initial value. The initial value in this case is 0.1 millimeters. And b being the growth rate. So since this thing doubles every time we fold it, b would be equal to 2. So I got 0.1 times 2 to the x millimeters if you care about units, which I don't. So there's step one. I guess that's all you're doing. Uh, step two asks you to calculate something. So I guess I better grab a calculator. All right, so I got my calculator here, and all nothing too exciting, 0.1 times, let's see, I guess if I'm figuring out f of 5, maybe I should write it out, f of 5 would be equal to 0.1 times 2 to the 5th power. And to figure out what that's equal to, you might be able to do that in your head, 2 to the 5th power is 32, times 0.1, you get 3.2, but in case you don't feel like doing things in your head, I'll go ahead and type it in, Hey, there you go, 3.2. 3.2 millimeters, uh, I don't know, that's pretty small. Put it into context, I have no idea. Probably should have thought about this before I started working on solutions. I don't know, 3 millimeters? 3 millimeters is almost nothing, how about that? Uh, F of 10 would be 0.1 times 2 to the 10th power. Uh, you can kind of shortcut this if you hit second and then enter on your calculator, it brings up the last line you typed. And so I can just go and edit it, change that 5 to a 10 and I get 102.4 millimeters. Uh, and similarly, I want f of 15 and f of 20. So those would be 0.1 times 2 to the 15th and 0.1 times 2 to the 20th, respectively. And to calculate those, I'll do that same trick, second enter to pull up the last line and then I'll edit it, change the 10 to a 15, and I get 3,276.8 millimeters. And uh, 104,000, now it's starting to get big, 104,857.6. millimeters. So I guess this over here is step one. And this is step two. And maybe I should have switched color to make those stand out more. Step three says, all right, you did some calculations, so what? Put those into context. So I don't know, there's no right or wrong answer for this. Because um, you can put it in context however you want. 3.2 millimeters, oh, very small. Hopefully you can do better than that. Uh, 102.4 millimeters, that's what, 0.1 meters? So, uh, I don't know, a tenth of three feet, since I'm American, I have to do everything in feet. So a tenth of three feet would be like 0.3 feet, so like a third of a foot. Four inches if you want. Uh, I don't know, I'll leave it at that. I think I said to compare it to something, uh, but whatever. 3,276.8 meters, or millimeters. Well, that would be roughly 3.3 meters, which now we're getting pretty tall. 3.3 meters, if you convert that into feet, that's roughly 10 feet. Um, roughly basketball hoop, I guess. First thing that comes to my mind, anyways, when I think of something that's 10 feet, 3.3 meters. Uh, and then this last one, 104,857.6 millimeters. Maybe I should draw some arrows so you can follow my work a little bit better. Uh, for that one, well, let's see, I guess that's 104 meters. And that's not that useful. Okay, uh, 0.1 kilometers. Okay. Um, I don't know if that helps a whole lot either. What's something that's 104 meters tall? 30-story uh, building? Point 
which is pretty ridiculous if you start thinking about this. This was a piece of paper that we folded 20 times and all of a sudden it's the height of a 30-story building. How's that possible? Well, you couldn't fold it, I guess not 30, 20 times. You couldn't fold it 20 times. Try folding a piece of paper. I fold five, six, seven times and it ends up being too much to fold again. But if the paper were long enough, wide enough that you could fold it 20 times, your stack would be the height of a 30-story building, which is pretty wild. Uh, okay, step four is where we finally get to calculating f of 50. And so the way we'll do this is we'll say, well, f of 50 is 0.1 times 2 to the 50th power, which is the same as 0.1 times 2 to the 10th power to the 5th. And why did I write it like that? Well, because it told me to right here. And the reason you did that, maybe I shouldn't say equals, let's say approximately equal to 0.1 times 10 cubed to the 5th power. If you go through and read this, it says 2 to the 10th power is almost 10 to the 3rd power. So call it good enough so that you can do your calculations easier. But wait a minute, 10 to the 3rd to the 5th, uh, that would just be 10 to the 15th, right? Same reason I was able to break this 50 up into 10 and 5 is because you have this exponent rule that says when you have an exponent raised up to another exponent, multiply them together. 10 times 5 is 50. Similarly, 3 times 5 is 15. So I got 0.1 times 10 to the 15th, which 0.1 is the same as 1 tenth. So 1 tenth times 10 to the 15th would be 10 to the 14th. And this is millimeters. But wait a minute, 10 to the 14th millimeters, that's a 1 with 14 zeros after it in millimeters. If I want to convert those to meters, all I would have to do is, uh, I don't know, divide by 1,000. Dividing by 1,000 would be the same as dividing by 10 to the third power. Uh, I can write that, I guess. 10 to the 14th over 10 to the third meters. In other words, 10 to the 11th meters which by the same logic is 10 to the 8th kilometers. Well, 10 to the 8th kilometers, that sounds really, really big. It is. That's a 1 with 8 zeros after it. Kilometers. Is that 8 zeros? Nope, I can't count. How about this? Wow, that is 100 million kilometers? It's crazy. Fold a piece of paper in half 50 times. If you could do it, which you can't, your stack would be 100,000 kilometers. Maybe that gets an exclamation point. Uh, step six, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess that's step five. It says to put that answer into context. Put that into context, I Google it because I don't know anything off the top of my head. And if everything on the internet is to be trusted, it says the distance from the sun to the earth is 150 million kilometers roughly which is crazy, this was 100 million kilometers, we're almost to the sun, almost two thirds of the distance to the sun, which is a long way. After just 50 folds, it's wild. Um, I've done this problem enough times, maybe if I don't sound interested, it's because I'm half watching football and I know all these answers, so I'm not really shocked. But if you keep working on this problem, I mean, there's no reason you have to stop at 50, right? You keep folding it, 51, 52, 53. If you go up to 100, which isn't that big of a number, um, you end up with this ridiculous, like, billions of light years or something. It ends, I remember looking it up, and it was the, uh, the radius of the universe, which is crazy. Like, the, the I don't know, I'll, I'll stop here. There's the solutions. We'll call that good.